Hello, and this is part two. Well, that's not what I wanted. This is part two of a two-part tutorial where we will be going over health bar, uh, going in and out of a building while keeping the same amount of health, and why I will not be doing a fog of war tutorial. Problem with fog of war. In Game Maker, there's something called a fog effect. Fog effect, however, only works in 3D games, or what they call 3D. It needs a z-axis and won't work without it. So, using the actual built-in fog will not work. You can make a particle system, but that would involve thousands of particles and it glitches the game and slows the game up an incredible amount, so that won't work either. The last option is to do 32 by 32 blocks that change their shade depending on whether there is an object close enough to it. While this works, it doesn't look nice. It's a very crude way of doing it, and the only way it would actually work, well, it does work, but it's incredibly crude, it doesn't look nice, and it's not very efficient, and map making is a pain because then you have to layer all the fog of war tiles on top of it, and if you get more than one fog of war in the same square, it's going to look darker than everything else, and you're going to have to delete it, and if you delete it and there's something underneath it, that'll get deleted too, so you have to remake the map, and you don't know what the hell's going on, so it's very impractical, and no one likes fog of war anyway. So... I cannot do a Fog of War tutorial for Game Maker. I'm sorry. As for the other request, uh, the way I did mine, I used two objects, building underscore fuel and getting underscore fuel, as well as two units, ship underscore worker and get underscore fuel. Now, in building underscore fuel, the first one, we have, um, in a step event, this is a new function we haven't used yet. It's distance underscore two underscore object and then the object. Uh, you can see the code there if distance uh, to object ship underscore worker is less than 32. Uh, I don't feel like reading the code and you can just see it anyway. Then we start the bracket block of code um, global dot live equals the nearest ship underscore worker dot life. This, of course, just like we did in the health, we're getting the dot life variable and putting it in another variable. This time it's a global variable so we can get it back later. Then we have another thing I haven't used yet, but it's pretty cool, with. Uh, with uses an object that you specify within a self code. So you can do things to other objects without having to make another thing a code. I haven't used this f just to keep everything simple, but now that you pretty much get the hang of GML, this will work. So, uh, with, and then in parentheses, instance underscore nearest x comma y comma ship underscore worker, so the closest ship worker, using that object, we will do instance underscore change, in parentheses, get underscore fuel comma true. Now the way with works is, you write with, do a space, and then in parentheses, you do a function to get a closest object, or an object, or you just write an object's name. You can also write other. If it's a collision event, it'll use the colliding object as other, and that'll work too. Then we have um, the whatever you want to actually do. In this case, it was instance underscore change. Then we have another line of code that's just instance underscore change, and then parentheses getting underscore fuel comma true, which just changes our actual self object into the other getting fuel building. Now on left pressed, I already went over it. We have the global dot get worker, so that gets every no sorry that gets everything together. So we're all good there. Then we have the other building getting underscore fuel. In create, we do alarm in bracket zero equals a hundred. Then we have global dot get worker equals zero. So now we're not getting a worker, and all the objects won't act like that. In alarm zero, we have global dot fuel plus equals a hundred, so our fuel goes up. Our get underscore fuel dot x equals x, so we're setting our get underscore fuel our uh, worker object to our x, and we have get underscore fuel dot y equals y plus 64, so it's going to be rx and 64 pixels beneath us, so it looks like it's coming out of the building. Then we have with, we're using that with again, get underscore fuel, and then we change it, instance underscore change in parentheses ship underscore worker comma true. So now we're changing that object within ourselves. Then we change ourselves, instance underscore change in parentheses building 
comma fuel comma underscore fuel comma true. So now we're changing back into the original one. Now in mine, I have left pressed. We'll do the same thing, which is what I originally want, and I don't want it to come out on zero. Instead, it comes out on the click. The problem is on the click, it does not include global dot fuel plus equals 100. So take that out. You can duplicate and take that out. Now we have two more objects. We have get underscore fuel. Now get underscore fuel doesn't really do anything. It needs the same sprite as a selected worker, but it cannot be visible. It's not solid, and it does nothing. Now our ship underscore worker, on the other hand, in our step event, we need this. If distance underscore to underscore object, it's right here, um, in parentheses building underscore fuel is less than 64, global dot live equals life. So now we're setting that global dot live to life. It's a fail safe, just in case the first one doesn't work, that way we know the global variable has it. Then in create, we add a couple more things. We take life equals 10 goes at the very top. This is important. Then we have if distance underscore to object, uh, or what how it's actually written. Uh, the getting underscore fuel is less than 64. So if uh, getting underscore fuel is less than 64 pixels away, with getting underscore fuel instance underscore change into building underscore fuel. So we're changing getting fuel into building fuel if it isn't already and we're close enough to it as in we're being made near it. Then we have if distance to object building underscore fuel our new one now that's created is less than 64 life equals global dot live. So if we're being created from that building our life is no longer 10 instead it's that global variable live we have been making. So now that's all done, I'll just show you once again that it works like any other one. Uh, once again, besides Fog of War, I have been good about doing requests. I will take requests. Anything you need done, anything that'll make your game better, just ask it and I can probably figure out a way to do it. Okay, we're creating our worker. Uh, we're gonna hit Q a couple times. Go in the building. Comes out of the building. And there we go. And it's the same health. And that works. So uh, thanks for watching, and please rate, and please comment.